Hey drink fans, today I'm making a fishbowl drink that's going to bring all your friends together for this. Also, I have a very special guest with us today, so stay tuned. Hey drink fans, so like I said, I got a very special guest I'm super thrilled to have here today. His name's Nick Britsky. Hello! Hey! Thank you welcome. so much. Yes. Welcome aboard to the I'm, drink. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> so today, we're gonna make a great little fishbowl drink. I'm super excited. So Nick, tell me a little about yourself. Yeah, so I host a show called Nick Drinks, mm. and uh, we're on YouTube, we're on Instagram, we're, uh, we have a little website. And basically we do kind of similar stuff to what you're doing, obviously with a lot less flair. Oh. But that is what our goal is to teach people about great drinks and what's happening in Metro Detroit. And if you guys haven't visited his uh, Instagram out, you should definitely check it out. He has tons of videos, definitely really cool ideas and drinks and little good shows. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> um, so today we're gonna have a fishbowl drink. I'm gonna have give you some instructions on how to make it for me and we can enjoy and party on. Now, did you know this is what I drank in college? Really? Yeah, so at MSU there was a place called Landshark and they would make shark bowls. Uh -huh. So I, um, I appreciate the throwback to uh, my college days. How much to you? <laughs> <laughs> I bet there's a lot of stories you could. <laughs> yeah, well, and the funny thing is, if I remember correctly, you had to have like four people mm -hmm. in order to order the drink. Yeah. Because it was just a giant bowl of booze. Yeah. Well, hopefully this won't. <laughs> I was gonna say, hopefully this will <laughs> make us do something we regret. But we're gonna have some good times with this. <laughs> All right. So first, uh, you need a fish bowl. And then, Nick, I'm gonna have you put the ice in the bowl for me. Great, okay. And what kind of ice is this? So you just use crushed ice. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, open door. I made a mess. It'll be All right, so after you got the ice in, thank you, Nick. Yeah. You're gonna need some nerds. And yeah! Because <laughs> nerds is great. You know, it's great for like fishbowl, you get yeah. the gravel thing. So what you do is you take your nerds, pour it all in. Isn't that pretty colorful rainbow kind of look? Absolutely. And then you're gonna need some alcohol. Gotta get that. So you're gonna need about one cup of Amsterdam vodka or any vodka would do. And this is ice cold. Ice chilled, ice cold. You can even see the label. <laughs> what vodka do you drink at your house? You know what, I try to drink local. Um, I don't drink with a ton of vodka, but if I do, it might be like a, like a Two James or Detroit City Distillery, or something oh, yeah. like that. Yeah. I like Two James. Yeah. This man knows his drinks. <laughs> Not yet today though. Well, no, I take that back. I did have one drink already today. <laughs> Kill the edge. I hear you. So what you're gonna need guys is one cup of vodka. And I'm gonna let Nick do the next one. So one cup in your little tank bowl. And then you're gonna need one cup of Bacardi rum or any rum. Yep. So thank you. What I think is fun with, um, when you pull vodka straight out of the freezer, how, um, how thick it gets. It's almost like it has a little bit of um, like viscosity to it. It's crazy. And the rum's great too. Drink up, fishies. That's right. And you know what? Even if you leave it in the freezer, it'll never freeze over because alcohol doesn't freeze. So kids, mm -hmm. if you don't. Yeah. So you can't make vodka ice cubes, which is a bummer. No, you can't. Now, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of jokes to come back with that. I'm <laughs> but you're helping me kill the thank you. Of course. <laughs> next, you're gonna need three cups. Oh, because you're not kids, because kids can't drink. Okay, next, you're gonna need three fourth cups of blue carousel. I mean, when I first started the show, I, I said blue carasso or blue, but blue carousel. That's the same correct word? When I first When I first started, I didn't know how to pronounce it either. So, three fourth cups. Okay. And that will give you your nice little blue flavor. Or your blue look. Okay. If it's not blue enough, just add a little bit more. Oh, that's okay. oh it's perfect. This is, it almost looks like a like an ocean. Kind of like going up. Oh, now it's all starting to level up. Um, it was kind of yeah. like a little shore. It's so pretty. So what's next? What do you think? 
Um, well, we got some sweet, we got some booze, and maybe some sour, something oh. to kind of tart. Perfect. Oh, great. Good, good one. Yeah, we got some sweet and sour. You're gonna need about one and a half cups. Okay. So let's start with the one cup. All right. And a half. And that's gonna add a little bit more of a uh, tang to the drink. Now it's turning into a murky ocean now. Yes, it's getting kind of murky out there. <laughs> All right. Now last thing I'm gonna need is some pineapple juice. Actually, it's not last, but the juice parts, yes. Pineapple juice, okay. we're gonna need about four cups. Oh boy, okay. Now, it says four cups on the recipe, but you can eyeball it, maybe two cups, because you're also gonna add Sprite, which will also um, expand the flavor. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, thank you, yeah. One. Thank you. Two. And now you see the color changing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the last ingredient you're gonna need is some Sprite, some lemon lime soda. And what I'm gonna do is have Nick fill it all the way up to the brim. And then we have to finish this off before I can leave? Yes. <laughs> we're gonna have people on the street. We're gonna just bring the bowl out and just say, everyone have a drink. A hot. Yeah, I like that. Like I said, this is a great, great drink to have. Uh, it splashes, you can have it with your friends, and then you'll just forget everything the next day and you'll have a hangover, but it's fun to drink that. <laughs> All right, so what's without a fish bowl without? Fish. <laughs> exactly, so we got our fish from Sweden. We're using our Swedish fish. I love, personally love Swedish fish. I can eat a whole box by myself without eating, without even sharing, uh, but. <laughs> All right, do you like Swedish fish? Of course, yeah. Who does? I actually used to work at a movie theater, so we had all sorts of candy. Oh, yeah. What was your favorite candy? Other than Swedish. Those seem to be my favorite. That's yeah. my favorite, too. But as an adult, do I feel like they are, they taste a little chemically now. Oh, Hopefully yeah. Hopefully you're not sponsored by Rolos. I apologize if you are. No, nope. okay. no Rolos okay. in this, <laughs> in this building. <laughs> so once you throw your fish in, as you can see earlier, it just sank to the bottom. We're not real fish. My fish had a little bit too much to drink last night, so they're just sleeping. But no, you want to go right. No, fish go to the bottom. If they float at the top, though, that's bad. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, we're good. We're, we're, no one's been harmed. PETA, please don't call. You know, I want it more blue, so I'm going to add a little bit more. And that's excellent. Perfect. Oh, good oh. color. Good color. Perfect. You want to help me stir it up? Yeah, now wait a second. So you said don't wear green. Is this going to show up on the green screen? Um. Okay, 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 okay. The fish bowl punch was slightly green, so with the green screen, it kind of made it into a real fish bowl. Joke's on us. All right, so now that you got everything all in, you're gonna add some citrus to this. So I cut some lemon oranges, lemons and oranges all in a circle. You just throw it on in. Now when you have an actual fish bowl, you're not throwing, I don't recommend throwing citrus in your bowl. <laughs> Your fish won't like that very much. But for this drink, it's gonna add a very special pizzazz. You always wanna garnish your drink, and this is such a beautiful garnish. Yeah, yeah. All right, beautiful, okay. And there you have it. So Nick's gonna help me stir it up. Okay. And it should turn a beautiful color blue. Oh, neat. Or a aquamarine. <laughs> That's great, perfect. And there you have it, the fish bowl punch drink. <laughs> Courtesy of Nick and Destiny. We do need like 12 more people though. We do. You wanna try it? Yeah, let's do it. It's very smooth, I taste the spray. The pineapple jumps. It does. The pineapple is really prevalent. I mean, you have two cups on there. So that really kind of balances out the booze. And the problem is you don't really taste the booze. Yeah, you so don't need four cups at all. That's gonna be dangerous. It is, yeah. it sneaks up on you. So guys, I definitely want you all to try this drink with your friends and loved ones. This drink right here definitely is a party pleaser. And I, get, I guess it gets an A from Nick. Yeah, <laughs> even an A plus. <laughs> all right, kids. 
Well, if you like this video, please subscribe. Please like and follow and share. Um, I'm going to have Nick again for another special, special video that I can't wait to show you guys next. Um, so stay tuned. See ya.